when it's going to go down, like when you, when you feel like it's just gone up that little bit too much, the sentiment really can switch quite fast. Yeah. I, I really think crypto at the moment needs to recalculate itself. Um, mm. I don't think it's going to drop uh, like it did. Uh, was it 2017, 18? Hmm. Um, I, I think crypto has got a little bit big for that now, just with um, people allowing purchases through crypto, such as Ethereum with the NFTs and so on. Um, but looking at it now, um, obviously a lot of the stocks in crypto um, follow Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin's at, at, I'd say, a vulnerable level. It, it could go either way here. Um, hmm. It's hovering in that range, right? Yeah. Um, you know, the the predictions, I think, with Kathy Woods was, was it 500,000 or something? And <laughs> I really, really think we're going to see 20,000 before 200,000 with Bitcoin. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, historically speaking anyway, with Bitcoin, the way it's always moved in price is that it, it'll go up for quite a while. It sustained this high price for a couple of weeks, maybe a month tops and then it just sinks right down not to where it was before but to a level that's kind of sensibly higher Would you than say where it used to be where it is now is a stable level for bitcoin no i don't think so where would you where would you put that price well like if if i look at the at the chart right now i think correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure the level we're at right now is not even where we were in january so from January till about May, let's say there was this huge, uh, huge price increase and it kind of happened in this just, but it's like a V shape <laughs> upside down V. Um, yeah, I don't think if this is like the correction, if this is going to end up in a bear market or something like that, I can't see it staying at 38 K. It seems a bit high. <laughs> No, I mean, with that um, sort of the hype train, if you want to call it, you know, obviously with America, with the stimulus checks and, you know, different countries, it's, you know, similar things to that. You know, a lot of people were putting 50% or more just in crypto, just for the fun of it. Mm. Um, and obviously that's all stopping now or it has stopped. So um, yeah. obviously that money going in and obviously with the market slowly recovering now, you know, people mm. will be putting money out of crypto and back into stocks yeah. Stocks now are getting valued fairly, not like what it was over COVID. Yeah. You could put money in anything and anything would go up. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, this the thing that uh, makes crypto, and I think we've seen over the past few weeks, so unstable is like a single tweet can, you know, drop such as Bitcoin by 10, 20%, which we saw with obviously Elon Musk, um, you know, and you can call them crypto influencers if you want. Um, but they do have an impact, whether you like it or not, on the crypto market. And we've seen that with, you know, you know, he I think he said last week, you know, will Dogecoin be, you know, accepted through Tesla, you know, and playing <laughs> around like that, you know, they're just making a lot of money off stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it just makes crypto extremely unstable. And obviously the whole regulation with it, which is sort of still in uncharted territories with the whole tax and what you can mm. put through and so on is it, you know, it's, it's hard to, to read really. Um, and obviously with China banning it and I think it's Saudi Arabia, was it? Yeah. Um, you know, these things aren't good for crypto at all. Yeah. I think what tends to happen is, and this happened in the last bull run as well, where the price just started to exponentially increase. <laughs> And as it was going up and up, government started to take notice and they were like, hey, there's this crypto thing that's, uh, you know, a bunch of people are putting their money into and they really believe in it. And, you know, could it be the, the downfall of the fiat money system? Probably not. But the way they look at it is probably like, oh, it's a tax evasion scheme or it's some kind of way to avoid, you know, sanctions or I don't know. There's There's many different things that they can look at with Bitcoin and with cryptocurrency and just go, that's negative. That's negative. That's negative. Yeah. And if they can't control the money, you, you can't control the power. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's it's a control thing. So as the price will go up, there's inevitably going to be talk from different governments that are going to be like, hey, we need to shut this thing down or. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, the, the big one, actually, um, 
which we we saw a few days ago is um the environmental stuff now oh yeah that that's obviously a huge factor obviously why elon stopped um bitcoin being the payment for tesla or the second payment mm -hmm. um and that's the same with dogecoin um and a few others obviously you probably have a better idea with how that sort of works but that's a massive factor now yeah um, I I mean, the way if, if Bitcoin were to run all the transactions in the world right now, I don't think that they'd be very efficient on power. I mean, no, the, the no, thing I'm, is, a lot of mining that was found, that sorry? Was found in, in the floods in China and they, they found the factory. And that's how they found. I think it was over. Was it 50 percent or over 50 percent of Bitcoin's mining is in China? Yeah. And I think I think that's the problem is the sense that. Like, yeah, you can have clean mining. You can run proof of work mining over renewable energy, for example, wind power, solar power, that kind of stuff. But that's not the majority of mining power that's actually being used right now. There, there's, like you said, you know, 50% of Bitcoin's hash rate is happening in China. I don't know if that's the exact number, but uh, I'll tell you now, China is not using majority renewable. <laughs> so... No. Yeah, they might be burning a few few little bits of coal here and there to yeah. to get there. It's it's going to be interesting this year. Looking at um, obviously, we I don't think we've got a single trade in any crypto at the moment. I think we're all out. Our last trade was um, Cardano. Um, yeah, some people I'm out of crypto as well. On uh, selling that, but it's it's a calculated. It's such a risky play at the moment because there's so many cons to this, and you know there's a lot of bear things you can you can comment on um mm. i think they were saying i think 45 percent of the entire you know money in crypto is bitcoin and 20 percent is ethereum so those are the obviously two major plays here which you see obviously a lot of crypto following mm. um but you know whether there is a crypto crash and uh looking you know if you were to look at a trade would you look at those coins or would you be looking at you know Obviously, Cardano seems to be one that keeps popping up on Twitter and a lot of forums now as the, the crypto that's going to succeed out of all of this. Mm. Do you agree with that? Yeah. So looking at the, the main coins that we have in the top 10, yeah. I'd say, so this is proof of work. This is a, a Bitcoin is obviously energy dependent. So is Ethereum until 2.0 comes out. Binance coin, I would say, is less of a, currency replacement and more of just an exchange benefit program yeah that's pinned to the us dollar so that's not being mined uh cardano is proof of stake so this one is not really using much energy this is quite energy efficient actually and it's already working uh dogecoin same deal xrp i think, I think dogecoin are, it's only up today i think because coinbase has just accepted it as a yeah <laughs> yeah so, i mean look at that yeah that is uh yeah quite something yeah um yeah with ripple i think the the issue that people have with ripple is that it's not necessarily decentralized it's kind of controlled by a company uh yeah so i guess that's kind of it doesn't have as good of a rap with people um and yeah i could i could keep going down the list but uh these are more internet protocol type coins you have stable coins but really the top proof of stake coin now is cardano and uh, with Ethereum 2.0, that's going to come out and they will probably, maybe not technically be on par, but at least they'll be using distributed proof of stake, both of them. Yeah. Uh, so you would expect that if Cardano has a better protocol than Ethereum or manages to keep that lead over Ethereum, let's say it's delayed for whatever reason, the new release, uh, then you could say Cardano will probably take its place, maybe. But obviously, we can't guarantee that. <laughs> no, we did do a video, obviously, on Cardano, I think a few weeks back, uh, with a bit more in depth um, to that. Um, but, you know, there's there's a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto at the moment. And yep. there's not, it's not, there's no fundamentals to it half the time. And then these no. 18, 19 year olds <laughs> have just put like a thousand pounds in these, that he, I don't know what the word is without swearing, but these other coins. You know, I've just shot up thousands of percent, which is ridiculous. You know, Shiba, um, this oh, Shiba. coin. I think Safe Moon's now on topic. Um, <laughs> and you know, I suppose you can read and have some sort of fundamentals to trading that. 
you know reading the hype um on it mm. but there's not a lot to it and it is a bit you know like going to a roulette table it's not maybe quite like that but it's it's similar mm. odds um yes you can make a fortune out of it but you know you don't see people making losses and no one likes to post their losses everyone posts their winners uh, yeah and i'm sure there are a lot of people that have lost um you know if i if i was to trade anything in the crypto now it would be cardano um i would love for it to get i don't think it will now i think it did a few days ago it was almost sub one i think it hit 104 yeah it was very close i think maybe Just, briefly yeah. it went under did it um which i'd love for that to drop uh to that because i think it's um i think you have room to play um but um obviously it's that was it one one seven seven or something so it's it's yeah. a, it's at a level for me where i wouldn't want to put a trade on it quite yet you know i think if it breaks two you could be looking at you know a nice run but at the same time with where crypto is in such a fragile state i think you could also see it drop you know 50 percent quite easily. yeah and it's happened before i remember well, uh, it. So it, being in the bear market impact, yeah yeah when you're in a crypto bear market uh, I think in any bar, a bear market in general, but it's it's vicious. Just when you think it can't go down anymore, it goes down more. And then it goes down more from where you thought it was the bottom. And then it just keeps going down and down and down. I guess, realistically speaking, if you're going to hold for five years, if you're going to hold for 10 years and you really believe in the project, it doesn't really matter when you buy. But if you've got shorter term horizons, then maybe right now is not the best time uh, yeah i think you could put you know scalp trade this you know hold it for maybe uh you know five minutes to, to five hours maximum you know i think yeah if you really wanted to it's so think, volatile but i think if you're really reading into it i think a lot of people especially with these other coins you know there might be some evidence back but how many coins say that this is the coin you know you know mm. dogecoin for example the guy said it was made within two hours you know, yeah. he, he, and I, I don't know if it was Dogecoin or I, I'm not sure if it was him who sold all his shares back in 2016 or something. Yeah, he'd already sold it. Yeah. Yeah. It was I believe Dogecoin. it was him. Um, yeah, which just goes to show that, you know, if you really believed in that company or whatever you call it, crypto, um, why would you sell, you know? So. Yeah, I would not take Dogecoin seriously. I mean, it's been literally made fun of. <laughs> like ever since crypto was a thing ever since dogecoin was a thing it was literally a joke yeah yeah and that, that that's you know the problem with you know people trading at the moment um, yeah and um, yeah i mean the the only the only thing is you know there are a few things like i just briefly touched on with the, the payment systems with ethereum and you know there's a you know, i think with a few coins now you can pay uh for stuff but obviously with mark cuban and gary v you know hyping these nfts now and it being such an impact over the next decade with you know trading um and crypto being a, a a payment for that there is evidence to say maybe crypto has got too big to see a huge drop which is obviously what we've already said is that i think we do a recalculation rather than um what we saw in 2017 18 would you say yeah i mean it definitely has inflated to be quite big uh i remember thinking the first time it's too big to fail uh but then it wasn't necessarily big big like compared to i think at the last bull run it was still less than the market cap of microsoft or something there were a couple of tech giants like three tech giants were bigger than the whole crypto market yeah um and that, that's the comparison that crypto bulls really like to make is the they compare on these on these cryptos are huge dogecoin is like i think it's well from when i last looked it was a 50 billion but i'm sure it's more than that now which is bigger yeah. than twitter or ford you know it it's a monstrous market cap on it yeah and the only I, I remember looking up uh different ways to value a cryptocurrency or different ways to see if a crypto is overvalued compared to the general market and so on and uh, what I saw was a bunch of people basically arguing and saying, oh, uh, you can't compare a cryptocurrency to a stock. You can't say that this stock, like Apple, let's say, has a $2 trillion market cap. Therefore, crypto is worth X amount more. It's not a valid argument for them. 
And the argument that they like to make is, okay, compare it to the supply and the value of the US dollar uh, and, and these kinds of arguments. But I'm like, I don't know, just some, some part of me doesn't think that you can value a cryptocurrency against a fiat currency purely based on inherent value or deflation because you can't use them everywhere like you can a fiat currency. No, 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 that's it. Um, it's 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 what can you do with that currency and if the only thing you can do with it is pay at select places or you know think, yeah, exchange that money for fiat money which you can then use to buy something yeah it's not ready yet no it's not i think maybe we'll look in this at four or five years time and see a nice little run up again and maybe it will be ready this time yeah, I, and it, it does happen. Like there's there's progressive increases in capability. Yeah, a, like there is, I see the concept with crypto, um, and obviously the the people wanting it banned and are stopping it are you know the, the people in power, and that's you know that's a different generation. But you know, generation generations obviously evolve, and you know we'll eventually be that generation. And if that's what we're trading now. Um, in the very long term, crypto is only going to come more and more into the world. Yeah. Um, but obviously, that's you know not something you can be looking at in the next six months. That's going to be at least. It's a long term. To, to, well, I'd like to say ten years, but it could be longer. Um, yeah. It's not necessary to say that crypto won't be here in the next year or two years, but obviously, it's just on top of it with just such a good run up. Um, but I think if you were to put like an oversight on all this i think just with the regulation issues and a few countries banning it and from where it's hovering and the history of it i think it's um i think there's better plays out there um and my main thing is obviously with the the markets not necessarily in the next week but in the next few months slowly turning bullish again possibly mm. it's looking at people are going to take money out of crypto and back into stocks um and obviously you know, with the market being so bearish, people are putting it into crypto, which surely you know, makes sense. Yeah. And I mean, all you have to do is look at the the way that the US dollar has been printed and inflated over the last year or so. Yeah. yeah. Just to see maybe there is some rationale for investing in crypto for some people because they're like, at least I know the supply of this thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. It's it a bit much. Be- it goes against obviously what the government want and everything, which is why it's um, been on such a topic because it's you know it's just a rebellion kind of thing. Um, yeah, the fun- there are fundamentals to it, um, but I would not put a trade on quite yet. No, so I think, no, I me think it's more waiting for an entry point. Yeah, and that entry point could come in a year. That entry point could come in two years. We we don't know, but I can tell you from past experience that crypto valuations don't last long. So whatever it's valued at now, it's not going to be flat for the next two years. I can assure you of that. So it's either going to go up forever (laughs) or at some point uh, there's going to be a dip or a crash or an opportunity. And that would be the time when I would make my move. You know, when people are losing money, there's usually a lot of opportunities with that. It's, uh, you know, the entry points there. And I think that's that's how we, we play this. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that, that I think that sums it up really. For those wondering why Sam's not here, <laughs> he's uh, a busy man. He's got many meetings, um, so he's uh, not in this uh, this one today. Uh, he should be here next next week or next two weeks when our next video is. Um, for any of the guys who you know, want to follow us, um, our Patreon links down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Cheers.